Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we're going to be replacing my normal weekly blind bag with this. This is a Funko Mystery Minis Adventure Time Blind 10, I suppose. And it is pretty cool. I mean, just the fact that it comes in this light, nice little tin box um, is very neat. Um, there are different designs for each tin box. This one just happens to be the BMO one. It's got a little list of all the possible figures there on the back. Um, I don't really have a preference, because I like pretty much every character in Adventure Time. Um, I guess Marceline or the Ice King would be cool. Those might be good preferences, but I'll be happy with pretty much any of them. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. I don't think that the tin reflects who's on the inside. I'm pretty sure that would take away the point of it being blind. But it could be BMO. I know he's an option. Let's see if we can't get this stuff off of here and open this up. Hoping it's not in a bag or anything on the inside that I have to cut into. And is this taped or something? It's not opening. There it goes. And it is. It's in a soft bag, though. So I can just tear that. And let's see what's in here. Which is being incredibly difficult. And there's bubble wrap, and it's purple. It's Marceline! Awesome! Cool, cool, cool. That is great. That is a preferential figure. All right. There is Marceline. Um, I believe these are in, like, the blocks design. Does Funko make those? I think they do. Anyway, let's put her on the turntable real quick and take a look at her. All right, moving on to our 360 spin. Here we have Marceline. She is very rectangular, a uh, very sort of angular design, which I guess is cool if you're into that sort of thing. She has a very large mass of black hair, which covers her entire back. And then a little bit of it is there in the front. She has on her normal outfit with the gray shirt and the red boots and the blue pants. Um, she has a little face there on the front and the little red dots for her vampire bite. She does have the fangs painted on there. They're just very difficult to see in this particular lighting. Um, overall, I'm not... I don't have any real issues with it. I'm not hugely fond of the, the style. It's okay, but whatever. It is what was in the box, and I am fine with it. The quality seems fine, as is usually the case from Funko, but Funko sometimes has quality control issues. If you've seen some of their other products, you might know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, it's a perfectly acceptable little blind bag box thing, especially considering it comes with a nice tin box, which may or may not be more expensive than the figure that's actually inside. I don't know how much pricing things like that costs. But anyway, that is pretty cool. Um, I'll have a different blind bag for the uh, Thursday of this week. So tune in for that, and until next time, goodbye! Hello! You've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content, and VR reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.